everyone, and welcome to Your COS. I'm Jennifer Baker. This is where we focus on the latest issues and topics in regards to our city government and our community. With us today is Bob Cope, and he is the Economic Development Manager for the City of Colorado Springs. And you're here to give us an update. Bob, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Um, and if you can start by just telling us a little bit about what your job involves and what you do for the City of Colorado Springs. Uh, as Economic Development Manager, my job is really to uh, carry out the uh, mayor and chief of staff's uh, objectives for economic development in the city. And in doing so, I work with our economic development partners, such as the Regional Business Alliance, El Paso County, Colorado Springs Utilities, and everyone else that uh, is part of our economic development ecosystem. And I heard that you've got some good economic news for us. Let's I start do. with that. I do. 2016 in the city is uh, really starting off on a positive note. Uh, first of all, we're hovering right around 4% unemployment. And uh, Colorado Springs and the rest of the nation has been uh, seeing uh, lower unemployment numbers really since the Great Recession in 2008. The thing is, is that a lot of that unemployment uh, reduction was due to uh, people actually dropping out of the workforce, either giving up or uh, retiring. But the numbers we're seeing now, the drop we're seeing now, is really a result of robust job growth. And that's extremely positive for the community. And, and I understand um, also we want to touch on downtown development because that's been a hot topic as well and sort of how that plays into all of the um, economic news that we're hearing. You bet. Uh, downtown is really the economic heart and soul of a community. That's why downtown uh, vitality is so important. And there are several great things on the horizon. Uh, the United States Olympic Museum, uh, a project that's been in the news quite a bit, and uh, people are familiar with that, part of the City for Champions uh, initiative. Uh, that project is expected to break ground in uh, spring of this year. So in just a few short months after the frost is cleared, you'll start seeing uh, excavation there and uh, significant progress on that project. And any other citywide projects that, that are worth mentioning pertaining to our economic growth? Sure. Are happening or on the horizon. Right. Well, downtown and some of these high profile projects are, are really important. Uh, throughout the community, we're seeing positive economic uh, activity. We've got uh, two water park hotel resorts being built uh, currently, uh, the Great Wolf Lodge and the Grand Springs Resort. Uh, a lot of great things are happening at our airport. After the formation of the commercial aeronautical zone, uh, the city landed a huge employer, Sierra Completions, which over five years will bring about 2,100 new high paying jobs to the community. And there are several other prospects that are on the heels of that. Uh, we just had the announcement that Frontier Airlines is back in Colorado Springs and will begin a new service in April and hoping that that service uh, will even grow. And, and the Frontier Airlines um, announcement coupled with also another big announcement from the governor. Can you speak to that a little bit? Well, cybersecurity. Uh, Colorado Springs has some real advantages really nationwide in the area of cybersecurity. We have uh, such a concentration of military, government, and business interests in protecting all of our networks that uh, we really have uh, an advantage over the rest of the country. And as you were alluding to, uh, in the governor's state of the state, speech announced that uh, he is behind an initiative to bring a uh, Colorado Cyber Security Center to Colorado Springs with some state funding, which is really going to make us a national hub for cybersecurity uh, excellence. All right, well, thank you for bringing some of the good news, and I know we'll want to check it in with you as the progress develops. Um, over the next few months. And we hope that this has given everyone a little bit of a picture of um, our local economy. And before we go, we want to remind you to follow the city on Facebook and Twitter for the latest information about what's happening in Colorado Springs. And of course, our website, coloradosprings.gov, is another great resource. I'm Jennifer Baker. Thank you for watching Springs TV.